Check out these massive apartment box guys. Hopefully this footage does it justice. Damn! Alright, what is up? Today's video, we are actually exploring the most modern areas of Ho Chi Minh City. Currently, I'm in on the outskirts of District 1, I believe. We'll be heading to District 2, which is actually the most modern area of Ho Chi Minh City. This is what I've been told by the locals anyhow. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is I've been to Vietnam many times, especially as a kid, and it's a completely different sort of vibe. The architecture is completely different as well from what I remember as a kid. I mean, these, these apartment blocks are, are massive. I don't think it does it justice, the, the actual video footage. But this actual area right now is all owned by the Vin Group as well. So the Vin Group, I don't know too much about it. All I know is they basically own almost half of Vietnam. They own a lot of the places in Vietnam. They've been really well supporting the infrastructure and the actual development and the advancements of Vietnam. And I want to share with you guys just how far and how sort of accelerated modern as at least the city of Saigon Vietnam is so let's continue let's head on but guys these apartments crazy and they it's just so out of place as well in a good way like when you're in the heartbeat of Saigon you've got the little grandmas pushing around the carts and whatnot but in this new area this much more modern area of Saigon it's just gorgeous but we've got Vin Homes, they even own a bloody park guys over here. I can't remember the exact name, but it's Vin Homes Park. Cross, yeah. And funnily enough, this area, a lot more cars compared to bikes. Obviously you'll still see the bikes, but it's a lot more cars. I think the roads are much more spacious as well. But the actual streets of Saigon in the heart Beat of the city, you don't get roads this big. And look how wide these roads are. There's buildings as well. Alright. You know, this place is fancy and modern when you've got security guards in suits. Oh, it's beautiful. It's nice, huh? Jalan? He looks pretty young. So you don't see these trees anywhere else in Vietnam. These are Vin trees guys. They've I'm joking. <laughs> oh this is Jala. Is this a tree for dates? Ah. Huh. Interesting. But this place it's actually pretty big. This area of modern Saigon, I've gotta be honest, it's almost like a it's like a modern village, eh? modern village, modern town. I would love to live here. Reminds me of places like in the Philippines, BGC, Bonifacio. Because it's just so peaceful, so spacious. It's not something that you really expect, or at least I expected coming back to Vietnam. Little picnic benches over there. Is that what you're looking at? Gazebo. Gazebo, is that what they're called? But this bridge. Yeah, you know, this bridge is it's actually super cute. Yeah. It'd just be a great lunchtime spot. And it looks like they do water shows or light shows probably at night as well when the lasers and whatnot look a lot better. Did you guys expect something like this? I sure did not. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's enjoy the peace, the walk. And these trees, I haven't seen them. Especially those ones, I don't know what they are. The Jala maybe. But it's beautiful stinker of a day though. Look how green and lush this little field is as well. Oh, look, someone's birthday. 
I want to try and see what those are. Maybe we can go up there. I think it's a little lookout. Guys, we have approached. Um, I wonder if this is, there's a name. Well, this whole area is owned by Vin, so let's just call it Vin Stairs. There's a couple, it's a, just a nice little lookout. We're right by the river as well. Someone's up here. Hello. But this place, Vin area, I was mentioning, they own everything. It's gorgeous. We're going to landmark 81, which is the highest building in Vietnam, I believe. Definitely in Saigon. But yeah, we'll be heading there right after that. And guess what? They own that as well. Crazy. That's a crazy, beautiful buildings we saw before. I mean, look at that. Look how nice that is. Woo. It's good to be in and around the water because you get the breeze. Well, you've got some yachts. You know if I think Vin owns this little section as well, this little pier I believe, could be wrong. They've got yachts, boats, you know it's a sort of a rich and modern area and you've got some yachts and boats. Oh, hello! <laughs> it's such a nice little lookout guys, you can see basically all of the tall buildings in and around here. Guys, we're in Vin Spiral Staircase. I'm joking, but this is where we're going to go. This is landmark 81, Saigon's highest building, skyscraper. And the park was just over there. So it's just a five minute walk, catch an elevator up here or the stairs. And we're about to enter. I want to see if we can get to the highest. I think it would be a nice little view. I've actually never been here before. So it'll be my first time as well. Wendy's first time as well. So. Let's get on in there. I think it's a shopping center. That is my assumption. I can see obviously Dior, some high-end designer brands in here as well. Pandora. Oh, you've got air conditioning. Jesus, that's amazing. It does, yeah. <laughs> it does smell like egg. Let's just oh, let's just let's go from the floor to the top. This guy owns the staircase. Yeah. <laughs> the elevator. <laughs> he, he, looks like he does. What is, what is that, Wendy? You'd know what that is, huh? What? Bun bow. It, it's, bun bow. It's a bun bow head, guys. You got little scooters for sale. I think this might be... They've got an ice ring. This reminds me of the Philippines. I can't remember where, but they had an ice ring as well. That's mad. I would actually lie down there. It's that bloody hot. Okay. This is sick. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Karaoke booth as well. What cool is this? The Vietnamese love the karaoke. They love their bloody singing as well. The little. Sh Currency exchange, ice ring. What is this? Got some anime characters as well. I wonder how much? You want to ice skate? Can I? If I can hold on to one of those penguins, yeah. It's hard. It's hard. Let's see how much is for one. It is... Visitors under... Okay. Visitors over four centimeters, 170,000. For weekdays? and then visitors under. Okay, very good. Come on. Got Lotteria as well, just little restaurants and knickknacks. And how cool is this? Made it back up to the first floor, I guess. But we've just figured out, Vin, they, they own a lot more than just real estate. They've got Vin Fast, 
sort of I think these are electric cars as well here we go been fast it's all in here now <laughs> okay <laughs> that one says like subscribe turn on the notification bells <laughs> But yeah, they guys, they've got VIN cars, they've got VIN buses, I've seen VIN electric buses as well. So they're everywhere. I saw a VIN hospital outside as well, so they own everything and they are really progressing Vietnam by a lot. So you've got designer clothing, Lux, Armani Exchange. Obviously, it's just really a shopping mall in here. We're going to go to VINCOM shopping center in a little bit, which is probably the most modern or one of elite easily probably the best shopping mall in Ho Chi Minh as well so we'll check that in a little bit but we're gonna try and head up to the very top okay guys we're back downstairs because the landmark 81 entry point is downstairs where the sky rink is we do have to buy tickets upstairs so let's go ahead and do that now let's see what the damage is $300. We're good with that? It's okay? Yeah. You get VR games, JLA, high yeah, um, standard ticket, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. 600000 for two guys. So $19. Good maths. <laughs> it's 500 and Just put in. Just give me a change. You get 100 Okay. Yeah. Today, baby, chân chu. Okay. Yeah. This is it, guys. The ticket. Let's head on up. Here we go. Here we're going to enter. Nice little entry point. Nice little walkway. Okay. đi lên đầu 79 trước không? Xong đi lên. Các bạn ạ. Right. Oh, it's like we're going through mini airport. A little bit of a security. And someone to meet us on the other side. Chào anh. Oh, this is VR, huh? Oh. Yes, we do, man. Cái này So I think that you get a photo. So what he was saying is you get a photo, it's a green screen, and then it's a view of Landmark 81. That's my assumption. I'll just Photoshop myself onto one. Uh, this is very... Japanese -ish. Here we go, guys. You're in for an experience and a half. Bang. Yeah, it's it's like uh, this is very Japanese vibes. I feel some bamboo as well. Was it? Yeah, wood. That's wood, maybe. Oh, look, guys. Whoa. Eighty-one is the highest. Look how many levels. What is? Do you reckon there's anything else in between? Yeah. Yeah, hotels maybe. I don't know. I think it's like offices. Offices, huh? Alright, we'll have to back check. 79. What else do they have? So you need to go to 65, 79, 80, and 81. Surely there's something in between. What a waste of space. You'd think so, right? We are approaching. Anticipation is building. <laughs> Ding! Ding! <laughs> There we go. 79th floor up in the sky. Whoa. Bro, this looks fancy as hell. Whoa. Do you feel that? Ah, uh, Wendell's. You're gonna love a photo here. There's cute little rings, guys. Guys, I don't reckon she can, she can fit them. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't even the best view yet, guys. Holy oh, guys, look at this. A little golden staircase for King David. 
So we, I believe we walk up the rest of the way. Uh, so this is the landmark 81 mascot, which looks like a bell. It's a cloud, huh? This little gold hot air balloon here. Oh, this is mad. You guys obviously can't see in there, but it looks like that. This is the 80th floor, guys. We are final, final level to see the boss. Landmark 81. Here we go, guys. I think it's a little, little cafe. It's a little, they say best spot for sunset. Come at sunset, if you guys can. They've got virtual reality games as well. You could buy a more expensive ticket. Ah, I'm assuming you can pretend like you're falling out of Landmark 81, which is pretty damn cool. But you can see how sort of condensed Vietnam is, huh? or Ho Chi Minh is. All the little buildings, it, there's like almost no space. Yeah, I think they're all playing the games. <laughs> That's the virtual reality games. Pretty damn trippy, huh? Here we go. Gallon. Đây vậy. Mình thăm con bên dưới là tự do nhá, lên trên mình phải mặc áo và đai bảo hộ. Dạ, mặc áo vô. Dạ. Có đâu cần trả tiền nữa không? Không. Không. Ok. Cảm ơn ạ. We doing it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, we do it a bit later. Uh, what do we do now? We do it now. Yeah, làm luôn, đi luôn. Còn cái dây đó. Dây dây. Ok. Take off the shoes, guys. Please take off your shoes. Okay. Guys, I feel like I'm in Money Heist. <laughs> What's your nickname? Better rob, rob a bank. We'll name you after Vietnam. Yes. Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh. Saigon. Ho Chi Minh. Oh, Saigon. Okay. I don't know, guys. Ugly. I'm ready for jail. <laughs> <laughs> bang. Thank you. Is your Oh, you don't need. You don't need. You don't need? Mm -hmm. Okay, long what? So hot. Don't worry. What is this? Okay. You yeah. have? Not to worry. What do you see like that? Oh. <laughs> She's. Are you scared? No, it's good. What is this one? Okay. Wheel. Oh no, I think I can hold this. Thank yeah. You. Put on the shoes? Okay. Shoes on, guys. Yeah, take your phone, maybe. Oh! Okay. So we give him that little thing. Puts it up there so it's... Take this. Take this, so it's safe. So we don't jump off. Oh, this is cool! This is a vibe! <laughs> How cool is this, guys? Take a deep breath, Wendy. I think she's hyperventilating. But you've got this, so you can't just, you know, bang, jump off and kill yourself. It's a nice viewer. I think it goes up a little, oh, not a little bit, a lot higher. <laughs> So I didn't tell her, but we actually bungee jump off at the end. Thank you, pardon? No, we don't. That would be crazy though. Imagine doing this. It's a cool little view, right? I wonder what that little mattress thing is for. But it's a sick view up here, guys. And there are some clouds, so it's not too hot. Guys, we've actually exited. So I couldn't find there was one cafe or little diner on 79 that was blasting music, so copyright, and I couldn't find 75. I might be wrong, let me know in the description if you, there was another cafe. But we're gonna head on out of here. One more final destination 
in this little modern Saigon Vietnam episode. Let's head out, let's catch a grab to the next destination. Grab is booked. We're heading to the next destination in style, in bikes. This is the easiest way to get around. Come on, Tim. So Vietnam's not too well renowned for the shopping malls. It's a lot more of the food, the culture, but this is one of the more popular malls in all of Saigon, Vietnam at least. Once again, it's owned by Vin Group. They own almost damn everything. We're gonna go to Chapit Sai. Oh, your boy's gonna get some, some actual running shoes as well. So we'll stop by Nike or Adidas. We're, we're in, I think it's, Oh, air conditioning as well. Might get a bit of a snack as well. But look at this gold little vibe. Damn, this is a... So Landmark 81 was also a shopping center, shopping mall, but it was super tiny. You come there for the skyscraper views. But look at this, guys. Tell me, you've got your little cosmetics and stuff here. But I love the gold interior architecture, huh? Guys, we've just jumped upstairs, but there's a lot of known shopping malls that I'm really accustomed to just like in Australia but your boy's gonna stop by Nike to get some running kicks running shoes we're, we're just we're at home we're in Chatty almost Jawan I need some running kicks I reckon black ones it'll be good to compare the prices as well and I now talk nhất cho đi chạy yeah, chạy bộ, thích màu đen, màu đen nữa. Đen rồi Yeah. Cái này hả? So this is Nike React. Nike Zoom hả? Thì hai cái này hay nhất hả? There's two. Đơn mang cái này thử nha. Fly knit, ok. Có size um, 8 gửi US không? All right, guys, we've got um, eight and a half. But Wendy's just told me the price, and they're over 300 AUD, which is super expensive. You reckon? No way. That can't be. Nike Flynets. Huh? Flynets. Nike React Flynets. With some, some comparisons. Getting first class treatment here, guys. So guys, they're just under 5 million, can't say that bad, just under 5 million, which is 315. I wonder how much it is in Australia. And these are, Nike is from Vietnam as well. Right, come on, guys. They feel alright. I don't know if it's the greatest material for running. Where do we hold this for a sec? You go. 230. <laughs> Give us a little run. And I got no now, young guy, my young. Có, yeah. Hơn yeah, yeah, yeah. Cái đế nó sẽ đi nó sẽ không tốt bằng á. Không tốt bằng hả? React Mile yeah. 3. Cái dòng này. Dòng nào anh? Ờ vậy hả? Nó sẽ không êm bằng. Không êm bằng hả? React. Okay. Yeah. 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 I reckon well I just have to leave these um here with them. And I and follow yeah. Yeah. 
bên Úc dễ hơn. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a lot more expensive here, which is interesting. I wonder why. I thought it would be at least equal price, if not cheaper. I wonder why. If any of you guys know, let me know why it's even more expensive. Because it's made here as well. All right, guys, we're heading into Winmart, which is at the the bottom floor of Vin Mega Mall. Fun fact. Guess who owns this joint as well? Vinmart. So Winmart used to be called Vinmart. They were renamed last year, I think, into Winmart, which I'm not too sure why. But it's a real modern convenience store. Got your grocery needs. But then you've also got your clothing as well. Which is interesting. So this supermarket's massive. Heaps of drinks, heaps of little snacks as well. One plan Saigon. They have spoons. I'm gonna grab one of these. This is a Vietnamese dish. Only 11,200. Yeah, come on. They've got oh they sell food here as well guys. They've got dishes, they've got tatka, which is like a braised pork and egg. Then you've got cooked dishes here as well. Yeah, this is one of the, the bigger ones I've seen. The fresh dishes, fresh produce as well. Sort of wraps all the way around. But it's funny because in Australia, you, this is sort of DIY, you wouldn't have this in Australia. But you have your mates and stuff where you can just sort of pack yourself. Interesting. Japanese influence here is pretty big as well. You've got baby eggs, fresh salmon, heaps of Japanese food. But we're gonna get a little snack. Wendell's actually got some some slides as well. Kind of spicy, equivalent to Pringles in Australia. Woo. Guys, we are outside. There's a bit of music inside. She learned so fast, this little one. <laughs> Oh, it's spicy Pringles. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know the great thing about the little ones, guys, is your hand doesn't get stuck at the end. This is twelve portions. What? Yeah, that's like one portion. Take one. I don't. You have to eat them in stacks. What? You gotta eat them in stacks. Oh. Yeah. That's not how you eat them. It's one yeah. No, well. Oh, it's actually spicy. A little bit. You'd, you'd hope so if you bought it hot and spicy. Slightly spicy. It's like the sauces you get when you eat bath, that spicy sauce a little bit. The one in Vietnam, at least. It's good. It's good. Anything chippy is good. Now for the start of the show. Okay, man plan. Man plan. Bang. How cute. So just a plan cake, really. Look how silky smooth this is. How much was that? This was 50 cents. 50 cents. Round about there. Ooh. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Is it good? Are you gonna give me some? Relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like the coffee Ooh. cream caramel at the end. And then it's like jelly texture in the beginning. It's actually delicious. Ooh. Give some to Wendell's. Oh, it smells super sweet. Oh, yeah. Standard bun plunk. Yeah. Obviously, this stuff isn't part, meant to be part of the video, but visiting modern parts of Saigon, what do you guys reckon? It was super amazing, eh? Been owning so much stuff. It's really a lot different from when I was here as a kid and I'm absolutely loving it. What do you think of the modern areas of Saigon? Yeah, it's really interesting compared to where we were in. Oh, district district one. 1 in the heart of District 1 in Bulbing. This is just my district Correct. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's any other modern areas I should visit in future. Catch you in the next one. Say bye.